A vet performed an ultrasound on a python, showing concern on their face. Mel wondered what the frowns of the onlookers meant. She worried for her precious snake baby. Despite being labeled as odd, Mel's tattoos are her choice and not a concern for others. If she wanted to go crazy with piercings, so what if she wanted a seven-foot-long python as pet? Who is to judge? A snake was suitable for Mel's small house due to low maintenance needs and silence compared to her neighbor's yapping dog. It hadn't caused any trouble. Mel and Fang have a unique bond. Fang entered her life at the right time and she cares for him deeply. Despite others perceiving snake ownership as creepy or frightening, Fang has never harmed Mel or any visitors. Mel kept her python in a standard vivarium with heat lamp despite constant warnings from neighbors. Feeling lonely, she wanted to strengthen the bond with her pet. Observing her neighbor's lack of bonding with their dog, Mel had an idea. She let the snake curl up with her in bed. It was wonderful. Fang cuddled up against her and later sprawled out across her body. Of course, he wasn't warm and furry, but his finely scaled body was comforting in a way. The python seemed to enjoy his new sleeping quarters, so Mel made it a nightly habit. From her head over her toes, he would slitter and curl around her legs. Did he watch over her while she slept? One night, a little after 2 a.m. Mel woke to an empty bed. She was so groggy. The neighbor's dog had kept her up with its incessant barking that she immediately fell back asleep. Fang was probably on the floor in the morning just as she thought the snake was back on the bed, twirled around her legs as usual. She later prepared his meal, but he didn't seem very hungry. The entire day Fang stayed on her bed and refused to eat. He'd also seemed more agitated than usual, particularly when Mel tried moving him back to the vivarium, she wondered if he was just moody or sick. She noticed he was looking a bit on something was off. Wasn't her imagination, or had he somehow changed in size overnight? The following day, the situation remained unchanged and Mel was beginning to worry. She decided to take the snake to the veterinarian. There was definitely something wrong with her precious baby. The group of vets questioned her about the python, sudden unusual behavior as one of them began an external examination. They believed the best course of action would be to take an ultrasound of the snake's belly. Perhaps it had eaten something out of the ordinary. During the ultrasound, one vet's forehead creased into a frown and looked at the others gathered around, which made Mel's heart skip a beat. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. What were they seeing? When is that bad? One vet asked her a series of questions about the snake, including about its feeding and sleeping habits. That's when Mel revealed her and Fang's nightly bonding ritual. Then the vet showed her the ultra, and Mel couldn't understand what she was seeing. The snake's belly was absolutely empty. So, what was the problem? The vet asked Mel, if the python usually sprawled out along her body and curl up around her while she lay on the bed. Well, yes, she confirmed. The vet explained that Fang had intentionally stopped eating, not because he was feeling ill, but because he was preparing to consume a large meal. Snakes often feed on animals that are way larger than themselves. Thanks to their ability to unhinge their jaws by sprawling out beside Mel, the python had actually been sizing her up, in essence, practicing how he would approach his next big meal. Fang had been patiently waiting until a perfect moment to snatch his prey. In this case, the unwitting meal. Sitting there in the treatment room, Mel had to absorb everything the vet has told her. A chill went down her spine as she realized her beloved Fang might very well have been preparing to eat her while she slept. To think that she had taken their closeness as bonding, to think that she had wondered if the snake was watching over her during the night, he had been watching indeed watching and waiting for his next prey. Still in shock, Mel returned home with her pet python. She immediately placed him where he belonged. In the vivarium with its tight-fitting seal, far away from her bedroom. She still loved Fang very much and still believed snakes could make wonderful pets. But she'd have to be more careful and responsible from now on to avoid any danger. Her neighbors had been right after all. Mel endured her neighbors' reactions after narrowly escaping death from her python. She shared her story on social media to warn other snake owners about her mistake and the dangers involved. She wondered what would have happened if Fang had attacked her at night. Keeping a snake as a pet can be beautiful and fascinating, but is it safe to let it sleep in bed? From Mel and Fang's story, 
It's clear that animals have their own space and it's best to let them live in their own environment and show love from a distance.